Hi, I'm Mario Guerra, the two-time former mayor of the great city of Downey. And you're here with my co-host, Eric Pierce, the editor of the one and only The Downey Patriot. And you're watching, you're listening to Talking Downey with Mario and Eric. I do, Mario. Hey, sir. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So. Good episode today. Yes, yes. I think it's going to be tough to condense it and keep it within half an hour or yes. whatever we go to. I want to tell you this at the very beginning. Yeah. Uh, some gentleman came up to me, very nice gentleman last night at City Hall, the, the council chambers for the installation, and Mr. Soto, I believe. And he, he says, my wife and I listen to your show all the time. And he goes, we get almost your information from there. You guys are great to listen to. Keep going. Every Friday now, we look forward to it. That's great. Mr. Soto. Juan Soto, I believe his name. That's so, great. Yeah, not the baseball player. No, not the baseball player. <laughs> um, several months ago, I think I told the story, several months ago, I was stopped at the uh, Kiwanis Car Show by a viewer. And I thought, usually I, I get recognized by people in the community uh, because of what I do, yeah. you know, with a patriot. Yeah. Uh, but she says she watches the show and yeah. she appreciates. So many people watch the show for news content. Yeah, yeah. Which is Somebody nice. in the parade yelled at me too the other day. Uh -huh. It's kind of cool. I, I oh yeah, you were in the parade. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. fun. That was a blast. So, anyways, so the big news is last night. Uh, this will be dropping on Friday, but last night was the installation mm -hmm. of two of our new council members. Mm -hmm. We have a full council now. Yeah, uh, Horacio Ortiz, uh, District One. And in District 3, Dorothy Pemberton. Yes. Um, by the way, two people that I endorsed, supported, and helped. And um, I was so proud uh, there to see them both uh, get installed last night. Right. So, and I know that this show, you supported Dorothy because you thought she was great for our community. So it's kind of neat that the <coughs> people that we know uh, mm -hmm. getting installed. Yeah, and it, it, it's funny. So, the, you know, the council meeting was last night, so it's still very fresh. And so we were talking earlier about how much we want to say because we're so, you know, kind of it's emotional, you yeah. know, because it's, it's our city that we love. And talking about the new two new council members, you know, every vote that they make now, because they're up for re-election, yeah. every vote that they make now, they're going to be scrutinized for, yeah. right? Pros and cons. Yeah. And I think we're going to talk a little bit about that. It's We're going to see it already. So the first motion, and I took a picture of it on, their, on the screen, and it was a unanimous vote, and I sent it to both Dorothy and, and Hector, excuse me, in uh, uh, Horatio, and it was for voting for a mayor pro temp, mm -hmm. okay? And it was unanimous, so I took a picture of the big screen. And Hector said, hey, Sosa, your, yeah. Your first motion. So Hector right. Sosa is our mayor pro tem. Okay. Uh, very deserving from District 2. Uh, this is, gonna, this is uh, uh, going into his third, this is his third, his second year, mm -hmm. going into his second year. So he'll be mayor pro tem in his third year. And, well, we'll talk more about what yeah. happened after that. So yeah. he was voted on mayor pro tem, unanimous vote, 5-0. Yeah. So the, the anticipation is he'll be mayor. Next year. A year from now. A year from right. now. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. But let's, let's just jump right into it. <laughs> uh, so the city council voted. Talk about if we're struggling, it's because it's fresh and it's like, wow. Right. So right. pay close attention and look for the nuances because – we're going to be as honest as we can without hurting people's feelings. Right, right. Because it's nothing personal, but right. but it's you know everything that we talk about. It's with the city of Downey at the forefront yes, of, the, of the best interest. Okay, so the city voted to make uh, Mario Trujillo mayor for twenty twenty four for the upcoming year. Uh, Trujillo is currently the mayor pro tem. Uh, by the time you watch this, he would have been sworn in as mayor, uh, but it wasn't easy. Uh, so Horacio made the motion uh, to make Marjorie Hill mayor, uh, but Dorothy Pemberton. Uh, wait, wait, a second, wait a second, wait a second. So the motion on there, and then Mr. Trujillo seconded the motion. Yes. So now you have a motion under Robert Schultz, and you have a second. <coughs> I want okay. to set that up. And now before they vote on that, right. Dorothy Pemberton made her own motion. A substitute motion is called substitute under Robert Schultz. Motion, yeah. uh, to make Claudia Formetta um, mayor. And Claudia seconded. Okay, it wasn't clear whether it wasn't she seconded clear. it or she said, I accept she the nomination. She said, I accept the nomination. Nomination right. on there. And Dorothy's, uh, you want to say a little bit about the comments that she made for no, making you, that you, motion? No, you, you, you go, please. Because so, she had prepared comments. Yeah, mm -hmm. she had prepared comments. And her comments were that, you know, because of the COVID year, 
uh, that Claudia, her first time uh, that she was mayor, because she's now this year was her second time, that you know that she didn't get to do some of the things she wanted because mm-hmm. we were in lockdown and so forth, and she thought Claudia deserved another year as mayor because she's termed out uh, and so forth. And I, you know, um, I mean, that's where her, her points on there. Um, my thought process when I listen to that, uh, nothing against Claudia has been a great leader and, and you know, we, we appreciate Dorothy very much, but, but nobody's owed a second, let alone a third, uh, to do that. We had some mayors, the whole time I was thinking there and I counted them, and then I just wrote them down. So you had Mayor Alex Saab, uh, Mayor Kirk Cartosian, Mayor Dave Gaffin, Mayor Roger Brosmer, Mayor Keith McCarthy, and Mayor Bob Brazelton. Um, six mayors that only served mayor one time in eight years. So that's just kind of when the rotation kind of came up and then mm-hmm. voting and the whole thing. So to be a mayor a third time, let alone the second time. So any one of those, I mean, Alex Saab would have done a great job as a as a mayor on there. I, I wish all these guys would have had the second term. And Rick Rodriguez only got one term, but he only served four years. So he would have definitely been a, a mayor on there and that would have been great. So. My point on this is when Dorothy said that, that didn't wash with me knowing what I know. So Mm -hmm. some of the institutional history, but she was saying it under, you know, from her heart. Right. right, And and wanted Claudia to be the the mayor again. So, so let me say, I want to say this about, about mayor from You you know, the past couple of years has been very um, rocky for the city of Downey, but the one constant has been Claudia Frometa. Yeah, I absolutely. think she's been a fantastic mayor. Um, she stepped up when when she needed to. She was that steady hand and really guided the city and provided really good leadership for the city. She was mayor during the pandemic, and then this past year, uh, when you know when uh, with, with, with the new city, new city manager, city attorney, a lot of uh, new faces over at City Hall. She's been the leader that Downey has needed. Now, having said that, I think it's, I don't think it would have been appropriate for her to get a third term. Nothing against her, but there's now, we now have a full council right. and we have some council members with experience. Right. And so that, that kind of made sense. What Dorothy didn't say in her comments is she didn't mention Mauro Trujillo. She, she didn't, right? Um, but I think that's where... Not the first time. Not the first time. Yeah. But I think that's where more of her concern was coming from. I'm guessing. And I haven't spoken to her. Um, but, but, but no. So, okay. So she made that motion, right? So it came down to Hector Sosa, right. who was the swing vote. Right. He was the swing vote. That, at that time, it wasn't even clear that there was a second on it. But mm-hmm. you're right. Mm-hmm. And then, you know... Horatio came in and, you know, said something about unity and, and you know, was willing to talk about his second mm-hmm. and the whole thing because it looks like everybody wants to be a unifier on there. And that's a great thing coming in, per se. Well, yeah. But then it's up to Hector. Right. You're right. So. And, and, and Hector made some really good comments. You, you know, Hector said what a lot of people have thought but maybe haven't said publicly about Mauro Trujillo, which is there's concerns that he used to work with uh, the district attorney, George Ascone. Mm -hmm. There's concern about Trujillo's approach to public safety. And there's also concern about Mauro Trujillo's commitment to the city in terms of attending meetings and being engaged. Uh, But ultimately, um, Hector cited with going to with with voting towards um, Trujillo for the betterment of the city for unity mm-hmm. and for a unified city council right. and a unified and, city. and to go forward and he and he was very clear and he was basically speaking to uh, Mr. Trujillo saying I want to give you a chance you know because mm-hmm. we all deserve that chance mm-hmm. on there the interesting part is and I don't know if they got it in their council packets but years ago we set council guidelines, if you will, and we voted on them and they've been passed on to council and mm-hmm. council. The goal is always to try to make somebody mayor in their first four years, mm-hmm. in their first term. Nobody's guaranteed a second, mm-hmm. let alone third, but we've never had a three-time uh, mayor on there. But it's basically to make sure everybody has a chance. When in the past they wanted to get, they weren't, they were talking about doing that with Sean Aston. And Sean Asson, of course, you know, made, mm-hmm. you know, Brown Act violations mm-hmm. or uh, accusations, excuse mm-hmm. me, on there. So, so Hector kind of brought that up for, for unity. 
because this is uh, Mr. Trujillo's fourth year, the end of his first term, right. if you will, and whether he runs or not, that's up to him and that's and so forth. But yeah, and, and it was very hard, I can see, for Mr. Sosa to do that. I think that, uh, I think he was, he stepped up. He was the grown up in the room. And I got two calls this morning and both of them saying, oh, you're, you know, Mario Trujillo's friend. I'm like, time out. I'm, I'm not his friend. Mm -hmm. I work cordially with him, mm -hmm. okay, because I'm a grown up. And I will gladly do anything to move the city forward, including working with other people. But, you know, Mr. Trujillo led the drive to fire Mr. Uh, Levis, our city mm -hmm. manager, which I helped hire, okay. When I was open, an open seat there to fill, uh, you know, the seat by Sean Astor when he resigned, mm -hmm. I was the most qualified person to fill five months there, time on there. Mario Trujillo voted for this guy, Pat Owens, which is a political hack mm -hmm. that has no business in there. It would have been a terrible thing on there. So Mr. Trujillo wouldn't even recognize, even though Blanca and Claudia mm -hmm. uh, had said and had made the motion for me, it was Catherine Alvarez and Mario Trujillo that voted no, so it was a 2-2 two -two tie mm -hmm. on there. So I remember that. That, mm -hmm. that wasn't in the best interest of the city. Uh, and I'm, here I'm speaking ill of our mayor, if you mm -hmm. will. And then, uh, but all those things. But having said that, okay, it's the time to move forward. I'm not his friend, but I am his acquaintance, and I am a grown-up, and I'm a former mayor, and I have responsibility as a former mayor to try to do and say what I think is best for the city. Mm -hmm. And at this point in time, I think he's the best for the city. And I'm glad Mr. Sosa did a very, very tough thing. I know he's good friends with Claudia Fermetta. Mm -hmm. He, like us, supported Dorothy Pemberton uh, and so forth. So I know it was very difficult for him. But, man, what I mean, this will go down in, in our city's history as one of the most unifying votes to mm -hmm. do. Because, you know, mayor's great, by the way. And you do leave the charge on the agenda and a couple other things. You're the face of the city. But... You know, Mr. Sosa got it right. They all have, there's five people. Mm -hmm. There's five votes. Count mm -hmm. to three. That doesn't change the world here. Mm -hmm. So anyways, that was a very, very difficult, and I'm sure he's getting static from it today, from his friends. But to him, I say, you know what? God bless you. You're keeping the promise that you made to the residents of Downey when you said you would do everything what you thought was in the best interest of mm -hmm. the city. And in your heart of hearts, you did that unifying voice showed leadership yeah. so i'm very proud of him to be my council member yeah no he he really stepped up it was hector was in a very difficult position and he showed a lot of um leadership and and humility um i do want to say this about martin trujillo in that i i think he's deserved to be mayor i do whether you agree with him or not I feel he maybe his policies aren't something that that align with their own policies, but he's a very smart guy, and I don't doubt for a second that he doesn't have Downey's best interests at heart. I do not dispute dispute that at all. You know, yeah. he, he he was involved with the city um, a, a lot prior to running for city council. He just didn't really publicize it, but I saw him. Right. We, we right. served in, in Kiwanis together, yeah. and I saw him. He was very yeah. dedicated, super sharp guy, and so I think he's earned that right. It's not a Catherine Alvarez situation no. at all. No, well, you're not qualified. Right. He's you know, he is uniquely qualified, qualified. Yeah. Yeah. He, and people voted for him. Yeah. Thousands of people voted for him. District they, 5. It's citywide. District 5. He deserves to be mayor. Um, so I do want, I want to pivot back to, to Dorothy. So from uh, and I want to kind of get your take on. I'll give you my my uh, my take on this. From a um, strategy standpoint, I don't think it was smart for her to to f the first thing for her to do as a council member is to go against the grain, right? She she voted against Mara Trujillo, and I think that just kind of adds to, to some of the division in our city, because the whole thing before was like, now we have a unified city council. Well, no, we actually don't, apparently, right? Because if Dorsey's will be playing these politics games, you know, I think it just, it, it's going to hurt her when she runs for re-election next year. That's kind of my take on it. I was disappointed when I walked out of there last night. I was just disappointed. The vote ended up being 3-1-1. When it finally comes out, it was three people voting for, for mayor for Mario Trujillo. It was Horacio, Mario Trujillo, and Hector. Mm -hmm. So there was one no vote, and that was Dorothy. 
and then Claudia abstained. Mm -hmm. And that, that surprised me, uh, the abstention on there. So I've won 11 elections personally, uh, you know, for city council, for mayor, for state items, and, and, and certain things, 11 elections I've won. I've never abstained in my life. Because the only time you should abstain, in my opinion, is when you have a conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. And when I've had a conflict of interest, I literally leave. I abstain on consent calendars if I was, and it included the minutes, and I wasn't there like minutes before or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. But you're elected to make a vote, mm -hmm. yes or no. Mm -hmm. So I thought that, uh, in one way, I felt bad that Dorothy voted no because it wasn't a unified thing. Mm -hmm. And the other standpoint, I felt bad that she was left all alone mm -hmm. as the only sole vote, which can't be good politically for her. Mm -hmm. She's got an election that starts in January. Mm -hmm. So everything will be scrutinized. Now, having said that, I think Dorothy will be everywhere. I think she really has a servant's heart. I think she'll be um, working at, at, to help the city and answer the, the residents' calls and do all kinds of stuff. I think she'll be mm -hmm. doing all this stuff. But yeah, it was not a good night for the city, even though I was so excited. These are two people, Horacio and Dorothy, that I worked hard with all my heart of hearts, even though that, you know, Dorothy's divas don't like me. And so mm -hmm. she kind of keeps our relationship a secret, mm -hmm. which kind of bugs the heck out of me, too. But OK, yeah. you know, I thought she was best in the city. So I'll keep my mouth shut until right now and go forward with mm -hmm. that. But yeah, I'm disappointed. And I feel bad for her that that's how it turned out. Yeah. It was an opportunity last night for the city council to come together and make almost like a public statement, a public showing that we're unified. It's rally. It, it makes sense for Marjorie Hill to be our next mayor. We're going to put aside our personal differences, our personal philosophies, and we're going to rally behind him as a unified city council. Mm -hmm. They didn't do it. It was an easy vote. It was an easy vote. It was an easy vote on there. Let's just do this. Let's go forward mm -hmm. on there. Maybe that's not your favorite person in the world and so forth, but to unify. That, that's the key word. Just do this. And now... It turned out to be more division, mm -hmm. and it didn't have to be. No, I'm so disappointed. And you know, it, it's not. And I understand that they don't get along with Mark Trujillo, but also remember, it's not guaranteed that he's going to run for re-election. Yeah. Next year is his final year. Right. There, there's a good chance, I think, that him being mayor, I wouldn't be shocked if he decides four years is enough, yeah. because the four years is a long time to be serving. I think it, I think it enhances the chances that he may or may not run on there by being mayor versus not being mayor and then running again just mm -hmm. to be mayor. Because listen, I don't care what any of us say, you want that opportunity to be mayor. I couldn't mm -hmm. be prouder. I start this meeting, I'm the two-time former mayor mm -hmm. of the great city of Downey because I am, I'm very mm -hmm. proud. That's the, that's the first byline in my mm -hmm. obituary when mm -hmm. it goes in the Patriot someday. Mm -hmm. You know, a long time from now, I hope. But anyway. I'm, making, I'm gonna make a note. Make a note of that, but it is, right? Mm -hmm. And there was a West Wing show uh, about C.J. Craig, when she goes, mm -hmm. I know I'm living the first line of my obituary, mm -hmm. you know, as a chief of staff, but yeah. as former mayor. So it is an honor. And you do have institutional history. You have things that, that nobody else knows about, and you work towards these things. Now, I'm going to take a lot of static from, from friends. I go, you know, Claudia Fermenta did a great job. I want to go back to that. I think Dorothy's going to do a great job. Mm -hmm. um, and But last night did not have to happen. And thank yeah. you, Hector Sosa, for being the grown-up in the room. Yeah. You know, when Dorothy ran in, in, in her race, her opponent was the one, his main rallying point was to unify the city council, to unify it. And this actually kind of goes to, to it proves his point to, to an extent, right? Yeah. That she is kind of dividing the council by not, by not seeing that far, you know? Well, a couple of things that happened, too, that it was brought up last night that her base is the Anglo-Saxon. And it's like, yeah. I cringe when I heard that. First of all, that's not true. Her base, District 3, the whole city is by, by a majority uh, Hispanic, Latino. Mm -hmm. And um, and I'm proud of that. I'm, I, I count towards that in District 2 and the city on there. So District 3 may have more of the old school Downey, but it's not. And I think that did a disservice to her to, to be considered that way. And I, mean, I think maybe the conversation stopped, maybe it was going to go further into that so i was a little bit disappointed but i think poor dorothy was the biggest loser last night yeah. politically mm -hmm. and i think the number the second biggest loser uh last night was the city and, mm -hmm. and you know what it'll heal and we'll go forward from here but whether you like him or not we got to give mario trujillo a chance 
Uh, he's the mayor. He's the mayor of the great mm-hmm. city of Downey, and I think he'll be fine. I think so, too. You know, I think so, so, too. And I'm going to take a lot of static. I've gotten texts this morning from people because of my moderate stance, mm-hmm. and it's like, yeah, I don't get it. You, you know, Mar- Mario is one of, one of our biggest cheerleaders mm-hmm. in terms of the, of the city of Downey. He, he he loves the city, and I think he's going to represent the city very well. Yeah. I, ju- I just I, do, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways, what um, what <laughs> we're we're stopping short of. I think I think we went pretty far on that. No, we did. We there. did. It, it, it's tough. You know why? Because you and I both know each of these council yeah. members per, on a personal level, yeah. and we're not talking bad about anybody, but we also want to be honest because yeah. it's, it's important to be honest. That's about our show on there. People keep talking to us, and they get some of their new. So we're giving you a little bit of the inside baseball. We're giving you our opinions just from the experience of being here. <laughs> For me, it's just <coughs> – gosh, excuse me. I'm a political operative, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I, I think politics-wise – and what happened last night was just not good. Mm-hmm. It just it just wasn't good on there. I'll tell you though, I you know, when Mr. Soso runs in two years for re election and when he's mayor mm-hmm. next year on there, I think this is gonna go back as a unifying, as a leadership thing. So he's probably taking a lot of static from mm-hmm. the friend you know, and I understand that him and Claudia are friends mm-hmm. on there. Uh, and I hope I hope for the city's sake, I mean they didn't vote that way, but I hope there was no Brown Act violation. Uh, you know that was coming up, or mm-hmm. that you know they. I hope they didn't discuss this beforehand, or were seen together, or anything like mm-hmm. that, because that could be that would have been even worse for the city. Mm-hmm. You know, so well, it would have been illegal. It would have been illegal, but you know the Brown Act would have overturned the vote anyways. But I can see the headline in the paper, not only here, but that's not good for the city to have council members would, violate the law. It would be an embarrassment. Yeah, it would be an embarrassment. So this last night saved it if they had. I'm mm-hmm. not saying they did. I'm just saying if it had. Uh, but anytime you have three people agree on the very first day on there, that's not necessarily no. a good thing. But it's it just, you know, man, we, we, we have a new city manager. Yes. New city attorney. We have new staff. Very, I'm very impressed with them. I am. This I love is, them. I love them. Uh, our city manager, Roger Bradley, our, our city attorney, Mr. Funk. I talked to him afterwards last night. And there, it, and so is the. We, the other and we have that. new council members. This yeah. is, this was an opportunity to reset and move forward, yeah. and it's like the same. It's the same old nonsense. Because of your staff now, you're thinking there's still a little division. Right, and but but aside your personal egos and yeah. do what's best for the city of yeah. Downey, and you have to realize what's best for the city of Downey. Yeah. I think sometimes people are in such a little circle right. that they lose sight of the bigger picture. I don't like you, Eric. So I'm mm-hmm. going to do everything I can to screw you. I don't want to work with you in the whole thing. Right. And it's like, uh, but Eric's the editor of the Patriot, and we need the Patriot to, mm-hmm. you know, say. I mean, I'm using no, of a, course, a, yeah, a, yeah, extreme example, but. Yeah. But this is just 111,000 people or whatever, you know. I don't know. I know. 113. 113. Okay. I'm a nerd. So yeah, yeah. That's okay. I mean. You have a life. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always about down. So the other thing that happened last week, this is on point two in talking about department heads. Our police chief of 33 years, Leslie Murray, retired. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was there last night. I went to her um, um, retirement party last week at the Columbia. It was nice to see all these former chiefs mm-hmm. and, and a lot of our old former chiefs here, but also from other surrounding cities uh, pay a tribute. Mm-hmm. 33 years in the city of Downey. Mm-hmm. 33 years. Obviously the first woman chief on there, which is, is a great byline. But it's almost insulting. Mm-hmm. You know, she's a chief. She's like the seventh or eighth chief right. we had. But she just happens to be a woman, which, but anyways. So God bless her. I think her official last day is this Friday. Okay. So I was talking to her last night and stuff like that. Her and her husband, he's a former uh, sergeant yeah. here in Downey PD. I haven't heard anything about a replacement. Have you heard I, anything? I, I, I've heard conversation. But there has to be, like, even like on an interim basis. Uh, uh, I don't know that. That's interesting. Okay. I don't know that, but I know that they're doing there, a search somebody, for yeah, line. for a more permanent, yeah, more permanent. But even on, on the interim, I haven't heard anything. Yeah. I'm sure you somebody's got three, been selected. You got three captains. You got Captain Lochner. You got uh, Lochner. You got um, Captain Perino, Perino and Captain Baker. Right. So you have three captains on there. So. For the meantime, I don't know, one of them, maybe the senior person, the city manager will mm-hmm. say, okay, you're the senior. But Stepping they're all in out. different divisions uh, of it, so they could, they're still all just going to run their own divisions and mm-hmm. stuff. So, anyways. Yeah. Okay. 
So we wanted to get this on. This will be on this Friday. Well, when you're listening to it, it's already. I feel like you know, a year from now, nine months from now, we might look back at this episode, at this meeting, and there might be implications yeah. nine months from now when the count, when the elections, yeah, even no, sooner than that. Next when November. They start. Yeah, next November. Next November. Yeah, three uh, three downy elections next November. Yeah, there'll be and ramifications. So. You got Rossi Ortiz, you got Mario Trujillo, and you got Dorothy Pemberton are all running. And again, I'm a political guy. Five O's should have been the vote. Let's go on. Let's unify the city. Let's be do it. Let's get to work. Let's yeah, go. Let's get to work. And instead, right now, everybody has a icky feeling right. this morning. Mm-hmm. And why? Right. Just I don't understand the why part. Right. I get I get that we don't like some of the things that Mr. Trujillo's done, but he hasn't done anything illegal and mm-hmm. unrepresentative. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, again, so you go back to the Catherine. Al- right. He enabled Catherine. Now Alvarez, I would but. say what, if I was you know an advisor to Mario Trujillo. I, I would I would suggest that he be more vocal in in why he does certain things. I think so on too. his policy viewpoints and what he's trying to accomplish and how. Yeah, I think there's a little bit more transparency in what he's trying to do. Yeah, I would respect it. People would respect yeah. it. But I'll tell you, Eric, I was accused of giving him political advice the last mm-hmm. two weeks. I was accused by you know I'm not going to say, but people were saying, oh, you're advising him, and mm-hmm. the reason why is because he did some brilliant things. He put a, uh, he had a great story in the front page of your paper mm-hmm. last week mm-hmm. um, that kind of talked about what the city did. And I read it very little does it say I. Mm-hmm. It was the council did this. Right. You know, you only had um, a few people on the council. So he was very, uh, it was a unifying story. Then he did some, some videos online and so forth, talked about the street repavement and so forth. And then last night he had a lot of people there you know, on there, he must have got an inkling or thought process uh-huh. that it was going to be controversial. Right. So a lot of people that came, there was yeah. probably 30 people that came right. supporting him on there. So I did not do this. And for all those who are listening, and Mr. Trujillo and I know, I had nothing to do with him. I haven't talked to him uh, about any of this stuff. But I tell you, if I was advising him, good for him. Mm-hmm. Politically, yeah. he did all the right things. That story knew. in the he front knew. page, and I didn't know. I, by the way, I listen, I watch, I read the Downey Patriot at 4.02 every Friday, every Thursday. Mm-hmm. It comes online. If you go down below under the archives, under the E editions on there, because I like the paper where I can just go page by yeah, page. Yeah. I don't want a, a story here and a right. story there. Mm-hmm. So, so I go on that. He knows, because once in a while when he gets late posted, I text him, hey, mm-hmm. where's my E edition? Yeah. yeah. So I list, I look at that, and sometimes it's a nice little thing. All of a sudden, I get busy at three something, and then it's four twenty. Oh, hey, mm-hmm. I can read my Patriot. So last week, when I open it up, okay, and I see the front page on that, and then I read the story, I'm like, man, whoever was advising him, what a brilliant move! You're, I didn't even you, asked you about it. I go, this is awesome. You read between the lines, right? Yeah, of course you see it. Of course yeah. it is, mm-hmm. and good for him. Yeah. I didn't do it. I had nothing to do with it. I wish I did. I yeah. mean, I, I would do that for anybody right. if mm-hmm. I'm advising him politically. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so um, Mayor Mario Trujillo, okay, we wish you the best because when you're going to do good next year, which we think you will, the city of Downey benefits from that. Mayor Pro Tem Hector Sosa, thank you for your vote last night. When you do good, the city of Downey benefits. That's my hometown. That's my city. So I appreciate that. To Dorothy and Del Rocio, congratulations. You won fair and square. You're part of our new leadership, and we look for great things for you in this next year mm-hmm. and hopefully in re-election. To current Mayor Claudia Fermetta, thank you. We know the hard work you did. Um, it, you, this year was probably easier and better than the past years, although you did have to help hire a new city manager, new city attorney. But I remember the stress of having the craziness when you had the council coming with all of Catherine Alvarez's people and all the personal hardships on you and your family coming to your house. So, Claudia, I have the utmost respect for you, and I thank you for your love for our city and everything you've done. When you do good, our city has done good. We've benefited from it. So I know you're still going to be a champion for our community. So mm-hmm. having said that, onward and, and forward on their go downy. <laughs> Go down and get it together. 
work together, play nice, yeah. and put the city of Downey ahead of your own personal ambitions, yeah. ideologies. It's what's best for the city of Downey. Yeah. We've got and, some and, great things coming up, too. And, and, and goodbye, um, Timothy Horn. <laughs> He, he's now, uh, <laughs> he's part of Downey history. Yeah. And when Donald LaPlante, they're part yeah. of Downey history. Yeah. God bless him. You know. It, I he mean, was a character. He was a character. Mm-hmm. He was, uh, yeah. But you know what? <laughs> Timothy Horn showed up. Yeah. He, 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 everything. He, he did. <laughs> he, he was interesting. And he, he was a regular guy. He's he, waving in the parade. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. I don't want – I never I, like, like talking personal, but mm-hmm. his whole thing with it, two hands. Yeah, it was, it was funny. Thing. But you know what? He was into it. Oh, no. You God know, he, he was there. into I saw him at events. He showed up. He showed up all the time. Good, good he, for him. He good for him. Stuck out his chest, and he was proud good. on there. We never got yeah. him on the podcast. Yeah. Um, he, he, he had a little bit of a beef with, with you. He did for what? Um, I didn't know that. He, he said that you uh, – you made fun of him for something, oh, and I don't know. I did, I it was know in, in good nature, right? Yeah. He didn't have a beef with you, yeah. but he, you know. Um, but we just never, it hey, just never materialized. Join the group, right? Yeah, you, you know. Yeah. So um, you can. I'm a fifty-fifty guy. I mm-hmm. got great fans on there, and then the other people that you know, I rub they love you. Right you. Yeah, I'm okay with that. God knows where my heart is. No, yeah, I'm good with that. Um, so yeah, yeah, that was I forgot about that. Yeah. So so long, um, happy trails. Um, there are some great things in the city coming up. Eric and I know about something pretty special that we are holding back announcing because we think we want the city to make the announcement. But we know about some places that are going to be really cool mm-hmm. for our residents. And, and I, I thank the council and our staff for working on that. Mm-hmm. And when we can, or even, you know, I don't know how we can get a jump on them. We'll get their permission on there. But it's it's we're working on They're working on it. And then we will, too. So that's yeah. going to be exciting. So. Yeah, good stuff. All right. Well, listen, uh, thank you for watching and listening. Oh, thank you to our, our sponsor, Financial Partner, and a couple other new sponsors that uh, are going to be coming on board next year that have shown us some interest. We're getting a lot of uh, viewership and readership and uh, readership. You can't Listenership. Read Listenership. I don't know. Huh? I, I like your word. little, you know, click and subscribe thing right. on there. But we're getting a lot of a lot of interest. We really enjoy this. We like talking to it. We like the passion that people tell us that they're mm-hmm. listening to it and getting their news. So we hope we're we're giving you a fair, honest assessment. Please write to us. Let us know what your thoughts and uh, and and views are and things you like. So yeah. anyways. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching Talking Downey with Mario and Eric.